evening to all. I am grateful to everyone present and would like to extend my gratitude to Mr. Monsi Serrano from the Philippine Business and News who has gathered us at tonight's Embassy Night. Today is the 189th day of the war in Ukraine. For the past 189 days and counting, Ukraine has been holding the line, standing their ground, and protecting its borders from invaders. Since February 24th of this year, the whole world has witnessed Ukraine's battle for independence, sovereignty, the right to govern their own nation, establish their own identity, and shape their own future. Reflecting on this, I feel obliged to commend the people of Ukraine's unyielding resolve. There is no doubt in the bravery and determination of the people of Ukraine, clearly demonstrated in their fight for their sovereign rights. In doing so, they are also fighting not only for their own rights, but for the rights of their children and the succeeding generations to feel free in their own land. To this date, I have not met a single Ukrainian who has expressed feelings of defeat even after months of war. Every Ukrainian national that I have spoken with exudes hopeful conviction and faith that they will win this war because justice and goodness will always prevail. With all the news surrounding Ukraine, a question posed by people, especially in the Philippines, being that we are thousands of kilometers away is, why should we care? The essence of humanity and the core reason for the creation of the United Nations Charter and other similar international agreements lies in our desire to maintain peace, development, and uphold human rights. This war, deplorable as it is, serves as an important precedent to the international community, reminding us to uphold the rule of law and democracy and to protect ourselves from revisionism of the current world order. The war in Ukraine has created an enormous humanitarian crisis with more than 12 million internally displaced persons. This will create ripple effects on the global economy as commodity markets, financial flows, trade and regional supply chains shall be riddled with disruptions. In turn, even from the Philippines, we are now feeling the effects of the war in terms of price hikes in food, energy, and basic commodities. Reports have shown that the results of the war have further exacerbated poverty. In addition to this, people have to deal with the effects of the war in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. Apart from the negative economic effects, the war in Ukraine has caused cultural and ideological divides even in the Philippines, as we see Filipino people online argue and choose sides in reference to this war. Which brings me to a very significant point and an important factor in this issue. The spread of this information has been used as a weapon in this war, and this has been made easier by the presence of social media. In this new information age, I hope that we remember to always uphold truth, justice, and compassion. The importance of documenting what is authentic and true can be seen in the trailer of Monsi Serrano's documentary film submitted to the Japan Prize International Contest for Educational Media. This video may be viewed at the Philippine Business and News' official page online and I encourage everyone to take the time to watch the video after this event. We have been watching third-party accounts and videos about the situation in Ukraine. This documentary is created as a first-hand account from a Filipino, and it aims not just to create awareness, but it also hopes that like in many countries, the Philippines becomes a window of Ukraine to the world. Again, thank you everyone, and a good evening.